We're here with uh, Don from Supermicro at this year's Supercomputing Show here in beautiful New Orleans. Thanks for spending the time with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Great. So uh, tell me a little bit about your experience at the show this year. What, um, what's new? What's exciting? What, uh, what are you guys looking forward to? Well, one of the first things that, that strikes me is the show seems to continue to grow. I mean, HPC in general was a, was a vertical niche that has now grown into maybe one of the biggest mainstream marketplaces. So at Supermicro, we're all about creating building blocks for application-optimized servers, and we, we really see opportunities here to help the, the HPC space grow beyond just the, the niche of supercomputing. What are some of the trends that you're seeing in the, in the market overall? Well, you know, if you read the research done on HPC, and we were meeting with IDC this morning, and they're mm -hmm. absolutely validating that nowadays the HPC market overall is growing. Uh, the personal supercomputer to the largest uh, uh, shared memory system, it's all about HPC for us, it's all about technical computing, and it's all about serving our customer in these markets. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you're excited about at this particular show, how, how things have changed for you over time, and, and what you're looking forward to. You bet. I mean, we at Penguin, we're really excited this year about the market dynamic. I think there have been a lot of changes in the competitive landscape that have opened up new opportunities for us. Uh, we have also enjoyed a lot of the new technological evolutions, specifically with our partner here, AMD. Um, and so that's really opened up new territory for us as well. We've been a great partner uh, with AMD and vice versa for many, many years. Um, mm -hmm. And it's been really beneficial. I think going forward, we're super excited about, uh, we're certainly excited about Interlagos. We're also excited about what you're doing in terms of a high core count on the die and then lower, lower core count and high clock speed. You know, the, the two of those together allow us to hunt in both environments. Yeah. And let's face it, the code out there is nowhere near as sophisticated as it needs to be, right? Sure. And so some of the code will benefit from your high core counts and some of it won't. And the fact that we can you know, hunt in both of those areas with you guys is exciting for us. 